Okay, let's get back to our discussion on CSS. Let's start learning some more. So, okay, we know this is a CSS style block, opening closing tag. So here are some CSS selectors, right? These are called selectors because we use this CSS code here to select tags in our page. So we say H1, do this. So let me say that again. For all of the H1s in a page, apply the CSS rules. This is the beginning of the CSS rule block. This is the end of the CSS rule block. Well, the proper nerd term for this is called a declaration block. You're declaring the rules. That's what to declare is to, is to make an announcement, to make a statement. So we're saying here, I declare that all H1s should have the color of orange. Well, the text color of orange. We know that this CSS here, this is called a CSS property. And this CSS property here, the color property, sets the text color in whatever tag that you are targeting. So, yeah, so we're learning some nerd stuff. So let's add another CSS property and a value. So this is the property. You have to put a little colon here. And then you say, this is the value. We're saying turn the text color to orange. So let's add another CSS property. So how do you se separate CSS properties? You use a semicolon like this. And uh, yeah, so let's, I don't know, font size. So we're going to say, we're going to make our H1s 48px. So what is px? px is short for pixel. If you remember our discussion on images, when we talked about images in the HTML course, we measured images in pixels, right? And pixels, of course, are those little dots on your screens. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Anyway, so we're saying make the font size of the H1s in the page, make them 48 pixels. So let me save that. Let's preview in the browser. Let's see in the browser. So here you go. So you can see our CSS H1s. These are the H1s here. See how big they are. So let's uh, try that again. Let's make it uh, 78 pixels. Open a browser, even bigger. So you get the idea how the font size affects how, well, the size of our fonts. Let's make it really small. Let's make it uh, eight pixels, which uh, will be barely visible. There we go. There they are up here. So what do you want to take away from this particular video? Well, we understand that these are selectors because they select tags in our page. And in fact, these are called tag selectors because they select tags. There are other types of selectors that we're going to learn about in CSS or several other types. Tag selectors are a good place to start. We know that this here is a declaration block, right? It's like, uh, it's kind of like, this is like the opening of the block. This is the closing of a block, kind of like this is the opening. This is the closing of the tag, opening and closing of the tag, opening and closing of the block. So we know that for the H1s, we do all this CSS here. For the H2s, we do all this CSS here. Finally, we learned about CSS properties and their value. And we know we have to put a colon. So we go make the color orange. And then we use a semicolon to tell the web browser that this is one CSS property and value. And this is the second property and value in our code. And uh, yeah, so you have to put the separator. Otherwise, if you go like this, CSS will get confused, well, the web browser will get confused about your CSS code, thinking that this is all about the color, which it isn't. So we're just going to put this here. That creates a nice separation between our properties and our values. CSS property and value number one, CSS property and value number two.